Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. So today's topic is Tower. Now the problem what you have with the Ansible command line uh, are many for the organizations. For example, some of the some of the problems which you have is like you want to use multiple organizations multiple projects you have uh, you want to manage it uh, you know you want the role based access control role based access control now you want <clears throat> ui based tool you want integration with uh, you know um, ldap you know uh, you want the history of a deployment that is something which you want what you want to manage you know uh, manage <clears throat> inventory for different project inventory <clears throat> for different project you want to manage <clears throat> uh, rules playbook for different projects so these are the capabilities <clears throat> we do not have in you do not have in the ansible command line so what is the solution for it so the solution is uh, is tower so now tower is a uh, one of the tools which will is a gui based and uh, also it has all the functionality as, a, as such role based access control you can integrate it with many tools like ldap jira service now you can also see the complete history of deployment logs and all and uh, and <clears throat> and uh, uh, you know multiple projects you can manage it multiple <clears throat> uh, project wise you can manage the inventory rules playbooks and so on so these are the some of the advantage which we have so how do we get started so let me have one machines first so the, for this you require a little bit of heavy machines so i'm going to go for let's say i'll sacrifice these two machines is running for no reason and now uh, Create a new machine, launch, and now this is for tower. Uh, Ubuntu, I'm going for it, a uh, 20 version. And you need minimum 8 GB RAM, minimum. So for that, I'm going for 2 CPU, 8 GB RAM. Key pair, uh, you can use anything let's say sunday something like that i created here it is and uh, network uh, i'm opening up all the ports so default security group and 30 gb minimum is required uh, for it and good to go launch so <clears throat> So here, this is the machine. Now I'm going to access it. Sunday PPK accept now colors this one appearance bold 12 okay apply now username is ubuntu so do you know that role right all of you all of you what is the role i'm audible all of you 
Yes. So roll the one which we discussed last day. So a tower installation is nothing but a roll actually. Pansible tower download. So this is nothing but a roll itself. So here you have you can download the tower. This is the tower setup and copy and now double look at enter now this is the uh, star hyphen jet xvf to do this so i extracted this one now go inside this now this is the role okay multiple roles are there if you see that uh, these are the rules which will run <clears throat> when you install it in order to install the tower now this is the inventory which is a local host only sorry not this one this is the inventory which is local host only and uh, and you see here local host okay <clears throat> and uh, let's say if you are not comfortable with the tower concept you can call this yaml file which will call internally everything but you can call this guy also okay so that is also possible now before running you should change few entries in this inventory file and two entries is required and those are uh, you have to give the admin password which is empty it will fail without that so here admin one two three and here uh pg password you can give it pg means postgres so admin one two three and save it and done so now this is ready for installations and i will run this setup dot ex sh and it will start installing now here it says uh unable to install ansible ansible is not installed in this machine you must install ansible before install tower now this is a odd because you don't need to do that everyone everything supposed to do this one by this command only but i feel update is missing or something let me try because everything will be done by that shell scripting only so i did update and now uh, let me run this guy it's not there's no problem so i'm going to install it ansible in ubuntu so install ansible ubuntu Yeah. this command will help me to install it enter raj your screen is lagging like you uh, are not able to see the screen. is it yeah oh uh, no i can uh, see your screen yeah so screen my uh, you know home internet is there so it's pretty good so check that maybe some issues from your side yeah it's a good one so now i install this ansible manually because it was asking it should not be asking because everyone everything was supposed to be done but maybe in ubuntu they have enabled the check or something with the latest package so ansible command line i'm installing it and then run the setup.sh almost done done 
okay so now i am going to kill this and and start the setup it's failed okay <clears throat> so this is the root region right now uh here uh one two is not supported for os and stuff like that so this is the problem actually which we have <clears throat> so what to do now i forgot or what just a second Uh, okay no problem so same activities we have to do in CentOS because we don't have a license for RHEL 7 that is a problem mm, I think I had an okay awx i destroyed it okay okay so okay so i'll have to get rid of this machine uh, so tower terminate same activities i have to do uh, in the centos so launch uh, tower problem is do I have a license that is a question mm. Mm. let me try nine is also not supported so okay so <clears throat> sent us seven we need to get it or eight maybe but the problem is okay let me try nine okay there's no wrong in trying let me... i think it won't work uh, actually i have also tried installing uh, nine and uh, mm -hmm. for like working with some of commands the problem is license yeah it's asking for subscription license here yeah. okay so let us go for seven uh, i think we need it's Sentence got obsolete here that is that is a problem yeah i even okay let me buy okay so so demo will not be spoiled actually so so filter 64 bit so previously you installed in ubuntu right ansible i yeah, think uh, i think yeah. awx i did it uh, i remember i mean not able to recall exactly because mm -hmm. not every day we do this installation Oh, no, not now. Mm. Today. In, in the the first mission is Ubuntu. Huh, Ubuntu, it did not support it actually. Okay. Mm, okay, so let's not waste time. Let's buy. So I'm going to buy from marketplace and and this one. Okay, so seven and select. Now continue how much it will cost me not sure but uh, let's get started and this is a 7 should be okay 8 GB RAM that is okay key pair Sunday I'm going to clean up the key pair because it's messed now and uh, security group I have opening everything no restriction from this side minimum 30 gb and launch 
should be okay now. The default user name uh, for CentOS is EC2 instance, if I remember correctly. So we'll have to check this out. <clears throat> okay. So at the end, uh, so can you do one session like how to upload uh, this Ansible code with into the Git? Uh, that one to Rajesh. Can you, can Git. you do that? Yeah. Okay. So, so I'll show you that. Yeah. I'll show you this. So, so let it happen. Okay. This one. And then. So subscribing to marketplace. Basically it will cost me. <clears throat> so now uh, let it happen now your question is how do we upload to github mm. so you can check my Git training tutorials okay there is a view all instance let's check it out not coming okay so should I try one more time no nope. so let me try one more time because I don't have patience waiting and waiting tower one and go for recent which is no go for center seven marketplace i selected this one continue and 8 gb ram sunday security group default 30 gb minimum launch still it's subscribing hmm. so done so now uh, i have instance okay so let me start the installations okay i got the two instance in fact this is strange okay so let me stop this one because i don't need this guy terminate it so this is the one which i'm going to use it so ip address is this one and what is the username username is should be ec2 instance or centos so ec2 user yep so go for this 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 and open uh, <clears throat> now this is the font for you so it will help you ec2 hyphen user enter supported why I use the right key, I believe. Sunday Linux. Uh, you see two user. That's correct. So, sure what is the problem? You see two hyphen user. So I'm supporting. Okay, so put it there's some problem. So I'll check that through this option, Cloud Manager. And what happened?
Hmm. Hmm. I'm just checking because key is correct. It's not working. Why? Okay, let's use the CentOS user and see that. Change, yeah. So CentOS user works. So this inf there's a problem in that description of their instance, but it's okay. It worked for us. We'll continue. Now this is the thing. So quickly, I'm going to download it. We lost a little bit of time here. Now. Download this guy. Wget and Wget is not there. So yum install Wget hyphen y. Done. And now um, Wget clear the screen. Download that guy and here uh, this is the get x v f enter should be okay and now uh, you have to do again the same changes which i do in ubuntu ubuntu and here this guy modify and then change the password two places mind it this is a tower password EDMAN123 bad password, but I just don't remember the complicated one. EDMAN123. This is a database password for the Postgres. Done. And then run this setup.sh. Should be okay. Now it will take 10 minutes at least to get it installed. Meanwhile, what I'll do, I'll help you to understand uh, different questions. So you said how to upload your code to GitHub, correct? No? Yeah, Rajesh. Okay, so what you have to do, just uh, let me show you example for it. <clears throat> I'm going to create one, uh, let's say, uh, this is the repository. For example, this is the repository. So what you're going to do, um, go here, clone it first. Okay now where is my command line here it is and you can clone this so you can clone this using https ssh i'm using https because ssh i cannot set up for this machine at this repo because i have my work environment in my laptop so https will seek a token uh, ssh will ask you to upload your public key to github so i upload it i mean i download it now i'll go inside this now here you can add your code so let's say one of the code you want to add it here any sample code you can add it for example this is your code this is your code directory rules play dot yaml whatever it is the files are files directories any files you can add it after that what you can do is you can go to the command line here get config user dot name is a one-time activity rajesh kumar before committing get user dot name email email address one-time activity and after that you see that what you have to commit so whatever the files you have added it will be having in this command you can add it and you can commit it using this adding ansible file and finally commit has happened and then you have to push this to origin mashed main 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 is here 
branch name enter now it will prop up some user id and password and token for it so this is a failure so rerun one more time in windows it will pop up actually with the right username so now i can give my token because i don't have a i don't want to upload keys for this so token i need it one for this i'm creating quickly though i don't use it generate new classic test demo and seven days this one giving all access bad practice but right now just for the demo generate a token now this token the pop-up which you got it here you can use it here browser login also you can do that by the way token is is one way and now you see the push has happened this code to the repository and now this is your code refresh and you can share your thought team so here i just added one file it can be hundreds of files also got it yeah. hello okay next thing is uh <clears throat> setup will take <clears throat> two three minutes more meanwhile i want to show you something and that is important <clears throat> our so here just let me write and civil tower Hmm. Uh, Raj, okay. uh, if you don't mind, uh, can you go a little bit slow because we are new to everything, right? So I feel yeah. it's, it's being very fast. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I did not do anything so far. Uh, what yeah. I did, yeah, I, know. I, down I downloaded the file, extracted, mm -hmm. okay. modify the two entries and run it. That's all I did it. And okay so two times i did the same thing okay so now uh, once we have a uh, uh, tower up and running what we'll do so i want you to tell me one thing and whether you can remember it or not i want you to ask so let me ask you this one do you remember ansible hyphen playbook here hyphen i inventory side dot yaml hyphen u user hyphen hyphen key file or hyphen k and hyphen b do you remember this all of you hello hello i'm asking hello yes yes wonderful so if you remember that then can we do something here so i will write all this thing here okay. and then i'm going to make it a little bit correlations because for memory you will store all this data so let me change the color this is the one part okay this is another part and this is another part this is another part
and this is another part okay so five parts so now here you have already spent good amount of time remembering this so what is ansible playbook is a command line to our okay understand that so here this will become a job okay. so here we use command to job now this one is here now second one is inventory inventory will become inventory will become inventory simple so inventory only so a spelling mistake right here i have to click connect just correlate create a do you know pointer concept pointer now site dot yaml we call it site dot yaml we call it project okay so here project so project now this whole things we call it what we call it credentials credentials okay. so now you have this one okay credentials and then you have this one and then you have this one and then you have this one so far so good all of you hello yeah hello you know what whole thing we call it in 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 tower okay. we call it template okay. that's all so what we need to do okay whole thing we call it template so now i must write at tower you will not get confused and so on so guys did you understand that what i'm trying to say so first thing what you have to do you have to create inventory what you have to do you have to create a project what you have to do you have to create a credentials and then template and then when you run the template i should give you the arrow for this and when you run the template what do you get it job so this is something which we do in tower do let me know if you understood okay so tower is installed now successfully i can see that now i can access the tower on the ip address which i have got it so here it is now Certificates not there. You can ignore it and Here Now this is your tower welcome page something like a licensing page or something you can say username uh, I think I forgot actually uh, The name is uh, <laughs> Let me just get it Tower and civil 
our uh, default username default username password and admin and password yeah that's good admin and passwrt wait 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 okay 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 sorry um, username is admin and password i set it up admin one two three in the previous topic now here this is a welcome page which will ask you for license now you know what you can request a subscription here and get a license you can so from where you get it license so you have to get a license from the red hat website okay so stuff like that so you have to generate a license and use the license and all now what i did uh, let me check my license because i think i downloaded one of the license just few weeks before uh okay so let me download it again the problem is this site is a little complicated so where to get it i need to locate it so the license you should get it uh at a certain places uh so start it this is a confusion for me all the time on their website Huh, subscription so should be here and should be here or here I'm just locating it and should be entitlement should be here and you know what I have to export yes I did yes so luckily I am under the license period. Yep, this again it will be irritating process. So here this is the manifest file. Let me upload it. So I download the license file and manifest and accept the user agreement. Submit. Now this license is active only for few days. I think 30 days or something. Check it out and 10 nodes only so guys this is your tower nothing great so first thing what you are going to do so multiple organizations so look at this here where is the multiple organizations here so there's one organization created default and organizations if you look at it little carefully users team inventory inventory means what uh, just now we discuss inventory means you know that Project means what? Project means your playbook. And job template means what? Template means whole things. Correct now? And administration. So these are the things. So you can create one organization, DevOps school, and save it. Done. So now I have a two organizations. If you see that here, that means you are the super admin right now, managing two organizations so here users team inventory projects all these things you have to create it so let's create a user first so you can create a user now you know what uh, ui is little odd for sure even i felt all the time so you have to spend some time there's no no other way actually so add a user where to add a user so here uh, if you look at this you can add a user to, to do organizations uh but i have no no other user except admin so what to do so i'll create a user first so users you can invite also integrate with the ldap also so let me create a user here name is raju k organizations here belong to devops school 
email raju at the rate of raju.com raju raju one one two three raju one two three normal user system auditor system administration normal user save it so this is the way you can add a user so now you got a users tab of school organization you see one users you can create a teams also so right now there is no team so what to do so you can create it where to create a team so here create a team dev team which organization it belong to dev of school and of course team will have some members of course right so raji raju is the one why is not taking okay creation is not done yeah this is the confusion you will have it and now you go and create a team here and add a member to it so here you have to add a member raju i'm added created a user created a team and now if you see that organizations one user one team now we have to create inventory also so inventory last time you did through yaml file but here you have to do through ui again i repeat ui is little odd you have to do slowly and get used to it it's just a habit will make you perfect there's no other way so do you have an inventory so i don't see so i have to create a inventory so what to do so here you see inventory button so here you have user button to create user team organization and here you have inventory so i'm creating there's one inventory already available i'm creating my own inventory so click inventory and what is inventory so inventory name would be uh devops school mind it devops inventory i'll say devops inventory okay now some which organizations so here devops school now you can have inventory variable here but inventory will have a group or host so here you can have a group or here you can have a host both you can have it so group something like you can create a group like a web remember that you created all this thing save and now here you web and in the web you can add a host so how do we add it so here you can click web and then click on host so like this little bit odd but same thing you want to add existing host so only one host will be there uh, local host which i'll add it so that's the one thing so if you think okay group i don't want you can add directly host that is also you can do that so for example uh, one of the host i will add local host which we are using all the time so let me copy paste local host uh, this is the one right so you can also do all this stuff and create a host so here uh, password i don't have for this key i am having is okay so what is ip address so ip address is this one so i'm adding a host to this machine host name will be same save it I'm done and now this host belong to the demo inventory so here you have one host here you have a one group also you can add a host to the group also you know that so you click on it here you add a host look at the here you will understand little little better way because even i used to get irritated from this ui but slowly you get used to it mindset so now if you see that here organizations you have one user one team one inventory so these are the things which we created now credential is pending let me do that so here you see credentials credentials so add now what is the name of this host i'm adding what is the organization belong to this credential devops school what is the type of credentials you want to store so a lot of type is there but right now this machine right machine just search for it here it is so i have a username and key okay mind it 
so username is sent to s and key i have no i mean password i don't have it key i'm having it so i'm going to use key and that one is here so open up the key this is the one done now if you want to escalate the method so hyphen b so sudo i hope you remember the sudo hyphen b look at this hyphen v escalate so this is a credential and save it so now i did it so this credential is also done so let me check this here so user is done team is done inventory is done credential is done now last two two thing is pending which is uh, project and template so project means code so you can have a code uh, some code at the github so let me use some of the sample code for for it so in this repository there's so many sample code you will find it one of the sample code you can use it so let me check this uh, i'm just checking is it uh, ubuntu or centos because right now i have a centos so Ah, yeah, wonderful. This this role is sent to us role. Okay, so what to do? I am going to down use this role. This is the URL for HTTP URL public repository. You can use it. Okay, in the recordings we'll have it, so you can check it out. So now, uh, what to do? So I'm going to create a project, which is you don't have it. Where to create a project? Here it is. So create a project. There's one project dummy available. Click plus name is DevOps X. This is the playbook. Now organization belong to DevOps school. And where is your code? Playbook code. So here this code is at get manual. Also, you can do that. So manually you have to copy in this path. This path, okay. Manually. But I don't want manually. Get is good. Automatically it'll take it up. URL. Now you just save it and automatically it will start syncing. You see here downside, it will start syncing. You can manually sync here also. Okay. And automatically it starts syncing. So guys, here you got a project also. And the last thing which you have to do is template. Are you understanding all of you? Yeah, yeah, right. Hello. And last thing which you have to do is template. Where's the template? Here it is. So template is a collection of everything, mind it. So what do you have to do? Create a template. I'm going to create a job template. DevOps template. Template. Okay. Now you want to run or check? I want to run, of course. Where is inventory? Here, DevOps inventory. Okay, which project? Project means code, DevOps X. Do you want to see automatically when you select the code, automatically they'll ask you, hey, which file you want to run it? So I have only one file, site.yaml. Credential, of course, the one which I stored it, this one. And uh, for 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 folks, how many folks? That's okay, limit is okay, verbosity is okay. Everything is okay right now. Uh, you can modify as per your needs and so on and then guys save it so guys now you got template also so if you see organizations each organizations they have their own users their own teams their own inventory their own projects their own jo job templates you can add admins also just like a user admin you you can do that now this is a full automation so you did it using this all the urls now what to do so the moment you run the template you will become a job so this rocket sign you see here is like a firing a rocket so run this and you you see here job you can see that job template this is the third job you're running and you see can see the logs now if you see that logs uh here it got skipped because they are complaining hey your web 
which you are using here mind it this is the site.yaml and here you are using web okay so he, here is saying hey your web is not having any post and that is true that is true so what to do either you create a group or add some host inside that or what you do either you use local host so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do two inventories and devops inventories groups web host add existing one the one which i already added save it it will fix the issues so now again you go to the template fire this guy and now look at the job fourth one look at the log and now it's running so this is the way you have to do that it's just so easy now there's a oh, failure uh, yeah so look at this there's sorry. a failure yeah so why is failure so one trying to install it so installing is okay see why is failing it's a genuine failure because installation is done fine you see that here but if you see that starting is a failure why because remember that i am using the same machine where i install the tower and tower is running on 80 port and when you start the http it will also run on 80 port so yes it says failure but that's run actually got it yeah yeah so this is a tower now you can schedule also many many options are there for scheduling now here uh, you can set up a notifications also like email chat and all kind of things so more or less there's a few features extra you have our LDAP control uh, some cleanup and all auditing and all few things are there these are a uh, licensing you can update here let me check how many days I have remaining so 9 10 what is a month today uh august so i think of one more so i think 60 days they have it actually so yeah 60 days so 20 days before i had used this license yeah question um yeah if if uh in git we have to, we want to change the name of the host like uh, uh the host name is web right so if i have another uh group name uh like ah web one uh, mm -hmm. so where should i change like uh, can you here only change it? Okay. here only in playbook site.yaml who's calling your roles there only you have to change no okay. see whatever yeah. i taught you in a previous sessions will be same that okay. is just like people uh, uh ui is there for everything to manage organization wise mm -hmm. that's what i said no mm -hmm. like now Raju will not have access to other organizations. I am ha I'm the right now super admin, so I have I'm, I'll be having every access. Have any issues with our channel membership? You can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.